Good morning, Kentucky. Welcome to this ABC 36 News Update. Here's what's making news now. The roads are a problem again today as you head out to work this morning, maybe even more so than yesterday since all that rain and melted snow has turned into ice. Strong winds have been blowing throughout the night, whisking snow back onto the roads, and sub-zero wind chills have frozen the water from the melted snow from yesterday. Now, road crews are busy trying to keep everything clear, but take it very slow on your morning commute and allow some space between you and the driver in front of you. Mary will have the forecast later on today. Well, Lexington salt trucks and snow plows are getting a workout. The problem is the fleet isn't at full strength. Lexington has about 40 trucks to plow more than 500 miles of roads, but almost half of them, 15 to 20, are damaged at any given time. The city tells ABC 36 yesterday at least five trucks needed repairs. School officials in Mercer County have to figure out what to do after an elementary school there catches fire overnight. Firefighters say it appears that a heat pump in a utility room sparked those flames. It took crews two hours to put them out. Classes had already been called off because of the weather today. Right now, the school has some smoke and fire damage. There's no heat or electricity, and it's not known when the school will reopen. Eleven Kentucky families are out of their homes this morning as a landslide threatens the area. The families were ordered to evacuate when county officials declared the area a disaster. They say an abandoned mine filled with water might be the cause. The hillside started slipping Friday, and officials estimate that it moved about four feet since the weekend. More information is expected today after the death of a Scott County woman. 68-year-old Glinda Sue Jones was found dead in her Sadieville home last week. Jones was a retired bus driver for the county. The coroner says he will release a cause and manner of death sometime today. Now, so far, police have been tight-lipped about the investigation. Jones was laid to rest yesterday. Well, John Wall leads Kentucky with 22 points and 10 rebounds for his first double-double as the Cats outmuscled Alabama last night in rough. Although Wall lit up the scoreboard at the end, the game started out ugly for him. While he came in ranked second in the country in assists, he only managed two in this game, both in the second half. By then, he'd racked up six turnovers. Cal also says he was disappointed he didn't get more from Darius Miller. At halftime, I told Darius, act like I'm not on the sideline. Just go play. Don't even listen to me. And then DeMarcus said, can I do that too? <laughs> Despite the sometimes sloppy play, the Cats did win this one 66 to 55. They will play Tennessee this Saturday. Thanks for joining us today. Have a great day.